Good day. In this video, we are going to try and solve question 1B of the 2024 NCA Level 3 Apply Probability Distribution in Solving Problem 2024. So without further ado, let's do part 1. There are two parts, okay? You can answer both of them, then you get an excellent. So we shall read the question. Very little research had of the typical size of belly button has been undertaken. It is hypothesized that the diameter of the adult belly button could be modeled by a normal distribution with a mean of 2.05 and a standard deviation of 0 0.9. Okay, Calculate the estimate for the probability that a randomly selected adult belly button has a diameter of at least 1.75 given the diameter is between 1.5 and 2 cm. So this is a conditional probability. So probability of diameter greater than 1.75 given that it's between 1.5 and 2 so 1.5 and 2 is still 1.75 in the middle okay so we need to know that it is going to be a and b so the formula is probability of a given b is equal to probability of a and b divided by probability of b so that's how we calculate probably the diameter greater than 1.75 and diameter is between 1.5 and 2 divided by probability of 1.5 and 2. So we need to know that the top part, the numerator, between one point greater than 1.75 and given that one point is between 1.5 and 2 is the same as this. Okay, So 1.75, so we are looking at this area here. So we are using the graphic calculator to calculate this area and also this area and we can substitute this into here and we can divide them and get the answer to do that we go into the graphic calculator so here comes the graphic calculator hopefully you can see okay i just put it here so we can do the work there okay so we are going to go to statistic menu go to statistics okay then go to distribution and now we go to normal i believe this is normal because yeah, this is a normal. So we need to do NCD. Normal is always NCD, not NPD. So we're going to put F2, NCD, and we're going to put in the data. Always put in variable, so F2, and we're going to key in the data, okay? So the graph looks like this, okay? So I'm just going to cover it because we need to draw the graph, okay? So the lower, to calculate 1.5 to 2, lower is 1.5, so variable, execute, sorry. I'm going to go down. Okay, lower is 1.5. Upper is going to be 2. Execute. Sigma is 0 0.9. And new is 2.05. Put in there your calculator. Execute and execute again. And the answer is going to be 0 0.2073. That is the between 1.5 and 2. Now we do the same thing for between 1.75 and 2. It's the same thing. You just need to change the 1.5 to 1.75. Okay. And execute. Execute. And the answer is 0 0.1084. Okay. So we have calculated that. We can put this away for a while. Okay. So we know that the top part numerator is the same as between 1.75 and 2 which is this number here is going to be 0 0.1084 and the denominator is going to be this number here 0 0.2073 and put in your calculator and the answer is going to be I've done before 0 0.5279 you get an answer you get a merit and to get excellent you must get the second part right okay so the second part sounds like this okay so which I'll read the question and try to solve it. Comment on the suitability of using the parameters given above for modeling adult belly button width using the normal distribution. So we are first finding the probability that diameter is less than zero because if it is negative, it's not possible. So we are going to put in a calculator. Okay, so, so same thing. I'm going to put in a calculator here. Exit. So now, the lower is any number here, we put a negative number, for example, minus 10,000, it could be any number you like, or 100,000. The upper is where it's n, it's going to be 0. Um, standard deviation and mean is the same, so we're just going to execute, execute, and the answer is 0 0.01136. That is the probability, 0 0.1136, we're going to round them up, okay? 
And this means that for a negative, to get a number that is negative or is less than zero is only about 1.1%, about 1%. So this is indeed a very small percentage. So I would say that normal distribution model will be appropriate because if the number in the percentage is a negative, then it can't be worked out. In, in fact, it's only a small number, only 1.1%. So it's acceptable and you can answer that. That's excellent. Hopefully you watch the next video, which is question 2A of the exam. So I see you soon. Cheers everyone. Have a great day.